We're going to learn how to tell the difference between a boy turtle and a girl Ooh. turtle. But no. first, does anybody know what kind of turtle this is? Uh, a box. Oh, a boxer turtle. A boxer turtle? That's a good it's guess. Spotted. He's got a, a he's definitely got a spotted he head. It. Oh my <laughs> goodness. This is a diamond back terrapin and they oh. get their names because this shape right here looks like a cut diamond on somebody's <laughs> ring. And this one a is a boy. Ah, <laughs> and if I we like take a look at his tail, that. he has a very long tail. And his tail what goes way past his shell. And that, and that's you put him that back tells in us that he is a boy. That one. Now wild. he swims in the water. And he has lots of different things that he uses to help him swim in the water. And that one just swims like a tail. Yeah. Like now we're going to take a look at the box turtle. This is a box turtle here. This Daddy, is a box turtle. I have a box turtle. This he one lives head. on land. If and I'm so this guy lives. This guy lives on land, and this guy lives in the water. Now take a look at the feet. Do you see his feet? Yeah. What about his toes? His toes are very tiny. I can't see them. Yeah, this is very good. This guy has claws. Wait a minute. This one has claw toes, so he can walk around on the land. And this one has webbed feet. That's a so he can swim. So do your turtles face any certain threats out in the, the natural habitat of Long Island? Yes. Um, diamondback terrapins are not doing very well at all because they, um, they live right in estuary areas, right where there's a lot of boaters, a lot of pollution. And if they make it past their first year, this one is actually over a year old, and if they make it to one year old, uh -huh. they're doing pretty good. And a lot of places now have started up Head Start programs for the Diamondback Terrapins, where the, they get raised in captivity for a year, and then they get released. Um, this guy is non-releasable. Um, all of the animals that I have are non-releasable. Why isn't he able to be released? He associates nets with food, and so he swims directly into nets. So if we let him go, any fisherman's nets that he sees, he will run right into them looking for food. And we know that's not good for him because he can get hurt and even die. Wow. So, um, boys and girls, do you know how, if this is a boy or a girl turtle? That's Remember? A boy. This is a boy, and how do we tell? He has a nice long tail. That's right. Now we're going to take a look at this turtle. This is another water turtle. This is a musk turtle. And usually when you find them out in the, in the wild, if you pick them up, they make a very stinky odor. They stink. So they're also called stink pots. <laughs> and these guys, when they get wet, look just like mud. So we'll get his shell nice and wet here. He's been drying off. He hasn't been in water all day because I took him out. And so if you look at his wet shell, it looks like the mud. Mm -hmm. And he can Maybe hide under should. the water in the mud. Maybe you should put him And we in take a look at this tail. And this looks more like a girl tail compared to this guy's tail right here, which is they much don't longer. Be, this guy doesn't want to be out of the water. Yeah, no, they both don't like to be out of the water very much. Why don't you put him back in? Yeah, well, I'm going to put him back because we can't keep them together. Thank you so much, Sue. Okay. I really appreciate it. And all of you for showing us where all those body parts are of the turtles.